So I'm super excited to uh, let everyone know that we actually have a, a, not even a reformulation, kind of the formulation that I wanted to release uh, back in probably 2010 when, the, when this whole game started. Um, <clears throat> the formulation that I designed to work with the SEALs to get them off of sleep drugs was actually prohibitively expensive for them to keep buying and it was <clears throat> prohibitively expensive for me to produce this one product. They were having to buy I think it was eight different ingredients at three different stores. It was costing about $130 to $150 a month and uh, there were capsules and liquids and powders and everybody there's a pain in the butt for everybody to use and they kept trying to get me to make a formula and I'm like I'm a doctor I'm not I don't know how to make supplements this isn't what I do I finally with enough peer pressure decided to do it uh, however I couldn't make the real formula that I wanted to make it was just it was too expensive uh, the way supplements work uh, the more you make it once the cheaper it is um, I didn't have enough audience to be selling to and now we've reached a point where we can actually afford to produce the original product that we wanted to produce and it's even slightly better because there's now one ingredient uh, that was available back then but it was even too expensive back then to, uh, even for those guys to buy uh, that's phosphatidylserine and what that does is decrease stress hormones the formulation really has the same idea that it's always had there's the melatonin production pathway if you've ever seen one of my lectures i talk about uh, Thanksgiving and the tryptophan coma that starts with you know eating too much turkey that tryptophan becomes 5-hydroxy tryptophan with the help of magnesium and D3 that becomes serotonin serotonin becomes melatonin and melatonin decreases your brain sensitivity to stress hormones what a lot of people don't realize is that we don't have a process for going to sleep like there's not a physiological mechanism that's oh now you're asleep and we do these things the best definition of being asleep is the lack of being awake. So what we do is we take away the things that make you awake. And stress hormones are the primary thing. So what melatonin does, well, it does thousands of things, but one of the big things that it does is it decreases how sensitive your brain is to the stress hormones in your body. Um, by decreasing your brain's response to stress hormones, it allows your brain to sort of slow down and start making some changes that changes a bunch of neurochemistry and get you ready for bed. And if you look at hunter-gatherers that live today, uh, that have never been exposed to electricity in their lives, they fall asleep about three to three and a half hours after the sun goes down. And that's because it takes that long for your brain to change. You know, if you've ever had kids, like if you've ever, ever had little kids that you put into bed, or if you've ever been a little kid being put to bed, you'll remember there's this really long process for getting you ready to bed, for getting you ready to go to sleep, because there's a lot that has to change in your brain. So we don't do that as adults. We don't spend three hours getting ready for bed. We don't spend an hour ready, getting ready for bed like we do with kids we try to do it all at once. So the whole idea of the product has always been, let's put in um, the elements that would ordinarily concentrate in your brain. If you would have blocked the light in your eyes, if the sun would have went down and you didn't have electricity, what would have concentrated in your brain? And that's what I just listed out, right? The, everything leading up to melatonin with the dusting of melatonin. You don't want too much melatonin or it decreases your brain's ability to make melatonin and it decreases your brain sensitivity to melatonin. Another thing that happens is there's a neuropeptide called GABA, G-A-B-A, -A, uh, all capitals, and what that does is it slows down the neocortex. So you think about, when you think about a picture of the human brain, pretty much all you're looking at is the neocortex, right? The kind of the, it wraps around like this little stick shift. This is what we call the lizard brain. This neocortex is what keeps us, in, you know, in, interacting with our environment. And what GABA does is it decreases your brain's ability to do that. You can override that, which is what happens when you're dog tired and you feel like going to sleep and your friends talk you into going to happy hour and you go drink a couple drinks, which should make you more tired and you become wide awake because you've overridden this GABA pathway. So the original products had the best that I could do in, in that pathway. Uh, I've now changed the form I've changed the combinations of those ingredients. I've upped the GABA significantly, um, and I have changed the ratios of a lot of the other ones because I can afford to now. And then I've added one more ingredient called phosphatidylserine, 
which decreases your adrenals uh, production of uh, cortisol and other stress hormones and those stress hormones are what make us awake they uh, in fact without adrenals you would be dead without cortisol you would be dead the uh, the level of awakeness you have is um, you know completely dictated by the level of stress hormones that your adrenals are producing so <clears throat> We need to decrease what your brain is responding to, but now we have the advantage with the phosphatidylserine of actually decreasing what your body is producing as well, which would also ordinarily happen <coughs> unless you know you're under a stressful environment, like being maybe pursued, hunted, or if you were trying to hunt something else. So that's really the whole nuts and bolts, the whole reason for the new formulation. Uh, it is a much closer version to what I wanted to release. Uh, I'm really excited to get it out. Everybody who's tried it likes it better. We've got some new flavors coming out. Uh, of course, we have the apple cinnamon, everyone's favorite. That's there. Um, and I hope you all like it as much as we do.